Hello everyone, I'm Piyush Katira and today I'm going to talk about one of the really cool and useful features introduced by Platform 9 in version 5.1 that is an import of an existing Amazon EKS cluster. This is really useful for use cases where say for example dev and test Kubernetes clusters are running in an on-prem environment managed by platform 9 and you have a different pre-prod or prod Amazon EKS clusters running in Amazon. This feature helps you to monitor and manage both the environments using a single pane of glass that is platform 9 management UI. Today I'm going to give you a short demo about it. To try out this cool feature, you need a couple of prerequisites. First, you need to go to platform9.com, sign up for a free tier account so you can have your free management plane that you can use to import the Amazon EKS cluster. Another, you need to have AWS credentials that is programmatic access so you can create a cloud provider and you can just input the access key ID and the secret key to create a cloud provider credentials. This helps Platform 9 to talk to AWS and get all the EKS related resources. As you can see, I've already created an AWS provider and now we can get started with importing clusters in the Platform 9 UI. click on import clusters we want to import EKS so I'll just click on importing EKS provider is AWS in my case for this demo I've created a demo cluster called EKS preprod and it's in US East 1 region so I'll simply select US East 1 and we can see that the EKS preprod cluster has been populated. Let's click on next. Confirm that this is the cluster we'd like to import. Yes. And this is as simple as doing a next, next finish. And there we go. We can see that the cluster has been imported successfully. It shows the Kubernetes version, the region. We also can get more information by clicking on the cluster itself. This is the node group. It has two nodes, the flavor of the nodes, the subnets associated with it. This, this tab provides information about the instance ID, the availability zone, the public IDs, if, if any, yeah. And these are some additional details about the Amazon EKS cluster itself. Another really cool feature that comes with this is enabling of Platform 9's inbuilt monitoring that you can use to get all the managed or monitoring related components with the EK, with the EKS clusters. So all you need to do to enable monitoring is just select the cluster, click on monitoring and click on enable. This does take a couple of minutes. So this is how you can monitor it. You should see the pods associated with the monitoring components getting to start to deploy. Another thing worth noting over here is in this particular release, we have provided the feature of importing Amazon EKS clusters, but Platform 9 has a roadmap to introduce similar functionality for Azure EKS, 
and for Google's GKE cluster. So this would help use cases which have true hybrid cloud Kubernetes environments and you can manage them from a single pane of glass. And as we can see, the monitoring components are being deployed. Now, the pod that we need to look out for is, is the Grafana pod. And that's the last step of enabling the monitoring components. And once the Grafana pod has been successfully deployed, you can, you'd be able to see the Grafana tab in the UI. So let's just wait for the Grafana pod to get deployed. It takes a couple of minutes. So as you can see, we now have the Grafana pod deployed successfully. Let's go to the UI. And refresh it once. And there we go. We do have a Grafana tab now. All right, so I had just paused the video for a minute till the time this got loaded because this is the first time we're loading Grafana. So as you can see, we have system uptime, the CPUs, RAM available, memory utilization and all the other metrics that can be seen uh, do note that though the uptime is almost a day we deployed the components a couple of minutes ago so that's why they are reporting the current time but once you deploy it in your cluster you should be good to go the other dashboards that we have available with platform and readily are Let me show you. We saw the CPU and memory usage. There's cube events and there's kubelet related metrics. We have API server related metrics, similarly with networks so, and so on and so forth. So these are all uh, the dashboards that are readily available to you once you enable the inbuilt monitoring. So that's about it. Thank you very much for watching this short demo. Good day.